Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Rex. I'm Dave. He's level three whiskey sommelier. He's a moot. You don't know. You don't. He's, he's just. He doesn't know. This is a whiskey called Military Special Blended Scotch. Yeah. It's now. Here's the thing. This one is from Joe Dimmick. Have we? Did we just do a Joe Dimmick? Uh, no. We sure? Uh, the, or maybe? Sounds familiar. Well, this regardless, Joe Dimmick, you magnificent bastard. Uh, Joe Demick, uh, he's not the only one who brought us this. So I was looking through the gift whiskeys yeah. down in that came during the grand opening, yeah. and there's two more of these. Okay. So we will find them and we'll bastard you. Update. We got one Zachary Smith. Yeah, Zach Smith of the Zach Whiskey Smith. Smiths. He is officially finalizing the cataloging of the Whiskey Vault, and he's going to go through all the gift whiskeys that have yet to be reviewed one by one, put them on a list. And let us know which ones don't have names so we can post it and you guys can go, that was me that left that. Right. Okay, right. so what we this is three-year-old scotch. Okay. And it's blended scotch, which means it probably has grain. It might even be mostly grain. Okay. Uh, it's got some malt in there, yeah. for, or could have malt in there. Yeah. It does. It does have malt in there because it's blended. But who knows how much and who knows where it comes from. And I looked for two hours to try to find information about where this comes from, and yep. there's nothing. Okay. Nothing. It's imported by, uh, or, or brought in by Atlantic Wine and Spirits, who is a big beverage company, mm -hmm. and they have all these different brands they bring into places, and they don't mention this anywhere on any website whatsoever. It's like a shiny, grainy, perfumey sweetness on the nose. Yeah, but there's a slight sourness to it. Like, like a sour apple note. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Sour apple and then like an unripe. You know what it is? Unripe something. Do you remember those green Jolly Ranchers that were the sour uh, apple Jolly Ranchers? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And almost like a really, really green unripe banana, but not the banana flavor, just that unripeness of it. Yeah, the yeah. And a little bit of honey. Okay. Yeah, you can tell this is very great grainy and shiny and shiny and young. Oh. <laughs> oh that's that's harsh. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes, there's no aftertaste. It tastes like. Oh, I got some after. No, I mean, I did right at first. It went bam and tried to kill me. And then it was sharp and aggressive. You know, and then it got a little smoky for a split second. Shut your face, smoke. And now it's. Can I'm left with sweetness. You know, no, what, you, you know what sweetness I'm left with? Throw up. No. <laughs> Throw up is your sweetness? What? No, no, I mean, like you just ate a whole bunch of sugar and then you As threw up. Aspartame. Oh, aspartame. That, that sweetness where it's an artificial sugar. Yeah, the metallic. Yeah. Almost aluminum. Or since we're drinking scotch, aluminum. Oh, and then it almost, uh, honestly, the it's not a perfumey sweetness. It's not even the fruity elements I'm getting. It's almost a... Like some kind of candied mint character. Each swallow makes me shudder a little bit <laughs> because it goes, Rah! <laughs> it comes alive in a very different way than like a really smoky whiskey. Do we know what the price point is on here? Because this could be an opportunity. No, this like, is budget. It has a budget, but even in the, on the... I have no idea because... Even, even on the bottom shelf, I think there's things that you can be reaching for. So I think Unless these this are, is like $5 or something. Yeah, I think these are available in the military shops. Oh, they deserve better. Well, it's budget, right? So they have more than this. So they have other things than this. Get, get in there, get a little taste, and think um, a, a, a slightly off spearmint. Yes, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. And that's why I don't like it, because I hate spearmint. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when if I'm driving in the car and someone gets spearmint gum out, right. I start to gag. So and That's how much I hate spearmint. I don't think spearmint... Can go bad, but if it could go bad, it would taste like this. It's like an off, <laughs> an off spearmint. Wow, that's so weird. Like spearmint was put like on the shelf. This is making me long for the Johnny Walker Red. Uh, dude, let's pour it because, as much as people uh, often love to rage against the Johnny Walker Red, it's like, man, there's things that are much more worthy of your ire. Yeah. Let's see. Already, the nose is better. 
special, they call it. That's special. Oh, yeah. It is Red Label is a good 50 to 80% better. It really is. On the nose. I'm just on the nose. And then the military special. So, th this is where whiskey is really a world of it's so con relative. It's context, yes. it's reference points, because it, there's a lot of people that can be really content having stuff that's like, you know, 20s and 30s, and they just love it. And then you pour them like an 80 or 100 or $200 glass of whiskey, and they're like, Pwah. Yeah. Now they're unsatisfied with what they've been enjoying their whole life. In this case, I think if you want somebody to have at least a modicum of appreciation for the Johnny Walker Red, you pour them some military special, and I will, and some Johnny Walker Red. I will say that it it's special. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna just... With uh, I'm gonna switch to the Johnny Walker Red. You got any comments? I do. I mean, I just I gotta get in the right frame of mind here. Oh, <laughs> the All things we do for your people. Fire the fire the fire the Ben Carver, have you ever gone to a bar, order a whiskey on the rocks, and they put a wedge of lime or lemon in it, unprompted? Happened to me last night. And definitely annoying. I feel like we could have an entire. Website dedicated to bar horror stories. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> because we it's just as so good often. as Woodford. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, I was in California. Same trip. I'm in California. Right. I walk into uh, in San Luis Obispo, a really cool barbecue, tri tip barbecue restaurant. It's right. pretty famous called Firestone. Okay. And uh, I walk in, I'm looking at their bar. They got some whiskey, lots of bourbon, not a lot of scotch. Those are tires. And yeah. And I say, Don't eat them. I say, um, Oh, they've got Abelor 12. Mm hmm. Right? So the waitress comes up. I said, I'll take Avalor. Mm -hmm. And she said, she looked at me really weird. And she said, Avalor? Mm -hmm. I said, yeah. She said, Avalor? And blah, blah, she blah, mumbled. Blah, blah. I said, yes, you Avalor. Blah, 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 blah. And she goes, blah, 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 blah. okay, that's, uh, are you from Europe? <laughs> and I'm like, that is a weird question. Right. I mean, I have a Texas accent, right? I'm, right? I'm like, no, I've been there. Does that know. count? I, so she leaves. I think you could pass for Euro trash. So it comes back in this little, like, you know, neat glass. Neat. Right. And it looks beet red. And I'm like, I don't remember the sherry color being that strong. And it has an orange slice in it. <laughs> so and yes, like, you have. To his question. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. I'm like, wait a minute. And I pick, she sets it down and walks away real quickly. Right. I pick it up and I'm like, oh, Aperol. An Italian aperitif made from gentian, rhubarb, and cinchona. Oh, we actually had a rhubarb-infused gin this morning. Yeah. It was a funky adventure. So, that's why she was like, where... So, when she came back, I said, hey... So, I went to the bar, and I'm like, hey, I, I meant Avalor Scotch. And the bartender stands back there and cracks up laughing. <laughs> right. And the waitress turns beet red, and she's like... Oh, that Europe comment probably didn't make any sense, did it? I was like, no, it's fine. It's fine. Gonna have a mixer. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos Sanchez, Sanchez, Rex and Daniel. There is a restaurant by me that does bourbon flights in Glen Cairns. Set atop a nice piece of barrel wood. Well done. Oh, they got a good selection. And when I asked them for just a glass of Highland Park Twelve, they brought it out in a cognac glass. Mm. What the hell? Yes. Yeah. It's like exclamation point, ex and then the question mark. How do I tell them nicely to treat me like a civilized human being? <laughs> and somebody answered, uh, politely. Right. <laughs> like, like, the answer is just say, hey, can I have this scotch in the same ironically, the bourbon? Ironically, you do it in a very civilized way. Yeah, ironically. <laughs> so the funny thing is, uh, that's true. I've seen it in a couple of bars where if you order any sippable alcohol, they give you one glass. Right. And if you order a scotch, they give you a giant brandy glass. And it's because that's a bartender who's been taught that you want to heat up the whiskey glass to release the aromas, mm -hmm. and that's what brandy glasses are for. Uh, which there's that's there's a lot of people on both sides yeah. of the fence. Some people say like, no, 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 you don't do that. You're gonna ruin it. You're gonna like release the stuff too quickly. And other people are like, no, heat it up. Yeah. So that's what happened. Is the bartender thinks he's doing you a favor. He's not being lazy. He thinks he's hooking you up with the best way to drink scotch because that's what he's been taught. So go easy on him. Yeah. And we got the honky Chris. Slow-mo Rex looks like the girl in Finding Nemo about to murder that whiskey. Fishy, fishy shenanigans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I went back and looked at that video. I was yeah, like, a yeah, it really does. A ah, with braces. A little bit. Here's your ready. Fishy, not even fishy. looking. Not even looking. Watch. 
totally, totally made, made it. it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight me, I fight for a friend. If you steal, may you not steal this whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and All if right. you drink, may you drink with us and something else. <laughs> hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the whiskey vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.